Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And today we're taking a look at using Lifter LMS to build yourself a free learning site um, and attract people to use that as a means of marketing or just building, a bit, uh, building awareness, building a community. And I'm going to give you an example of one that I built recently a couple weeks ago to build uh, awareness and a community for my local podcast over at southcoast.fm. I'm going to give you the broad brushstrokes in this video. I'm going to show you the pieces that I used and some of um, the tips that I found out along the way, but just really give you the mindset of how I went into building out uh, a site like this for sort of marketing purposes. I'm not going to go into every single detail of Lifter LMS in this video because there is just an absolute bountiful amount of options to set up Lifter LMS. So uh, obviously no surprise, I'm using Lifter LMS as the learning management plugin. There's a very powerful free plugin and that's all I'm using in this today in today's example. Uh, but great company, I know the founders, they have a great Facebook uh, group and community there that everyone's helping each other out. So I couldn't recommend them enough. And I'm using one, a theme on the front end uh, called Nev by Theme Isle. And Theme Isle has been around for quite some time. Again, I know those founders as well. I knows. <laughs> I know those founders as well. And uh, it, you know, this is one of the themes that I just don't see uh, reviewed as much as, as like the Astras and the Generate Presses of the world. This is a very powerful theme for free as well. And I'm going to show you what really drew me to using this theme uh, once I get into my example. Let's take a look at the example. I'm calling it uh, the South Coast FM Academy. I'm a real name maker. Right? I call it the Academy. And here's the mindset part of this video. The intent I built this site with was one, I wanted just one big free course that I could give to somebody and say, look, if you want to learn all about content marketing and why it's great for your small business, how you can attract people, how you can keep them coming back, take this course. Because on my podcast, that's a lot of the stuff that we talk about in the local business community, uh, especially now with all of this stuff happening with coronavirus and businesses shutting down. Uh, having a good content marketing strategy is great. Being able to still keep uh, your customers engaged is more important now than ever. Uh, and the other idea is I want people to be able to take this on their cell phone, right? I didn't want this big, overly complicated uh, learning management uh, infrastructure. And I didn't want a very complex site. I wanted big, bold, clickable buttons. Uh, and that's what I got with the Nev theme. And this is it right here. This is the homepage. The ideas have one big call to action, a couple features below. Let's get people clicking on that call to action button so that there's, there's no confusion. There's no clicking around. There's not a lot of content everywhere else. Just get them to the course. And then once they get to the course, uh, they can watch a quick video of me just describing the course. And then they can see all of the parts right here. So there's nine parts, which includes an introductory, which is really just a throwaway part, but eight really valuable lessons um, that people can access. And I've done it in all audio and uh, a little bit of text. And I'll give you an example uh, in a moment. So if I click this, the first uh, lesson in the course, should you do this thing called content marketing? Uh, I've made every course uh, right around the five minute mark. Sometimes they're four minutes like this, sometimes they're six minutes. But the idea was get them in bite sized chunks so that people can listen to it uh, and engage with it. So I didn't do video, I didn't do screencast because I just wanted somebody who was on a mobile phone to listen to it. But while they're doing other things, they can listen to it in the background. The other thing I did was I, and the other reason why I kept them really short is because I transcribed every lesson. Uh, using rev.com so that I could uh, have some supplemental text on each one. So if you were listening and all of a sudden you wanted to go back and reread something I said, uh, they had the ability to do that. So quick, bite-sized, audio-only courses. And it means that there's not a lot of stuff to, to design, a lot of stuff to play with. It kept things pretty clean. The next thing that I did, which Lifter LMS is great for, and I'll show this in a moment, is have little bite-sized quizzes along the way. And these quizzes weren't really there to challenge somebody and make them, you know, fail or pass and you can't move on without it. The idea was just to re-emphasize a lot of the stuff that I, I talk about in a particular lesson. So if I click on take quiz here, I'm just going to go ahead and hit start quiz. And you can see that Everything is nicely designed with the Nev theme and Lifter LMS. Again, very important 
that the theme that you're using is compatible with Lyft or LMS. So should you invest in content marketing? Yes or no, really? <laughs> the answer is yes. So we hit next. And you can see everything is styled nice. There's a little progress bar there. Should we give all of our content to social media platforms? The answer is no. And then we complete that quiz, right? And then you'll see a little graphic there that says you've passed, a couple points for engagement, and a little pop-up from Lyft or LMS and then people move on to the next lesson. And that's as easy as it is. Some of them have quizzes, some of them don't. It's really about getting the material across um, to the people who I'm hopefully trying to engage uh, in this Lifter LMS site. That's the, that's the idea behind it. Super simple site, super quick, actionable call to action to get people engaged as, as quickly as possible, and then have nice streamlined uh, lessons inside. And again, this is just for marketing purposes. I'm sure if you were really trying to train somebody or people were trading dollars for, for you to um, you know, train them on a particular uh, niche in an industry, then yeah, you might have lengthier courses, uh, assignments, more in-depth quizzes, um, you know, a lot more content on a page with video, audio, and written stuff. You know, really depends on your context. The context of this video is a nice marketable site. Let's dive into the back end so I can just show you how some of this stuff came together to leave you uh, feeling pretty good about these two solutions. Very, very limited amount of plugins, not a lot here. Everything I'm using is free. It's Lifter LMS and the Nev theme by Themiles uh, and nine total plugins. When you count some of the stuff I need to actually operate the hosting, uh, Gravity Forms, uh, and then the key takeaways is Lifter LMS and then the Gutenberg Blocks template library by Otter, which is a uh, a Gutenberg plugin for, I don't really like that name when I say it out loud. Uh, it's a its a Gutenberg block plugin for the Nev theme. And let's take a look at that theme and why it really drew me to it. And then we'll get into the <clears throat> some of the cool things about Lifter LMS that I want you to know about. The big thing that I really took away from using Lifter, uh, excuse me, using the Nev theme is the site's library templates, and this one in particular, the web agency. Now, here's a bunch of free templates you can use with Nev. Awesome, lots of great stuff for you to dive into. But it was this one right here, the web agency, and I was like, this is what I want. I want big call to action, I want big clickable buttons, I want a lot of white space, and I want something I could maybe grow into as I maybe create more courses on this site. I can see that I could use some of these blocks, right? I can use some of these blocks to showcase other lessons or courses. Um, other call to actions, reviews once I start getting some feedback. So I looked at it as, you know, this is something that's gonna work really well. Uh, the big call to action buttons, again, super easy to use. And that's what really drew me to it. Astro is a great option, Generate Press is a great option. These are all great options that work with Lyft or LMS. Uh, but the design is what sold me. Design is subjective, so it might work for you, might not. But that's why at the end of the day, I picked uh, this theme, whoops. <laughs> So let's just talk about some quick tips for Lifter LMS. I'm not gonna go through every setup option here. Once you install Lifter LMS, there's a nice guided walkthrough that gets you set up and gets you moving. Uh, very similar to if you ever installed WooCommerce and that'll just take you along the way. Once you get here, this whole site, this whole initiative took me about an afternoon to set up, maybe three to four hours from start to finish. Uh, and there were just a few things that had me uh, stuck on Lifter LMS. But their knowledge base, their support articles, I found every answer I ever needed <laughs> setting this up, you know, on their website. And the biggest thing you can do is once you install it, especially if you install it with the uh, predefined content, it comes with a whole course actually built right into Lifter LMS on how to use Lifter LMS. And I just use that course as a framework, as a, as a learning mechanism to go in and just see how they set it up. And I just looked at it and I said, okay, well, this is how they set it up here. I'm gonna do the same exact thing on my course. So once you get to the course, you can start adding course or adding lessons to that course uh, in uh, many different ways. Um, and the biggest tip I'm gonna show you in a second here is to use the course builder. But you can see this is an individual uh, lesson. Uh, this is something that you can come into and start uh, defining your content. You can put in your videos, you can put in your audio. As I did, I put in an audio block. Um, and you can set up all of the unique individual settings um, when you're on that individual lesson. So, you know, everything's here for you once you click into it in the builder. Some Gutenberg blocks are compatible, some aren't. Uh, but the big tip, the big takeaway is go right into the builder. So if I go to the courses section again, we click on the builder option. This is what's going to give you 
that top-down view. And this is where you're gonna spend most of your time when you're building out uh, your series of lessons uh, within a course. Everything is here. Every piece of content has other options you can get to. Like when you slide over it, you can go right to the WordPress editor. You can see the view of the lesson um, on the front end so you can see it. You can shift it up and down. Basically, all of your controls to manipulate the structure uh, of your lessons are right here in the course builder. And this is where Lifter LMS really shines in, term, in terms of keeping that cognitive organization, <laughs> right? So that you're not like, where's all my lessons? How do I quickly get to them? Because it would be very daunting if it was just stuck in the WordPress admin, just not built for managing that type of content. Um, but I'll give you the general gist of how I set this up. Again, I already told you I wanted something quick, audio only, uh, very little video, very little content. And then what I did was uh, I started setting up prerequisites after lesson two. So basically in order to get to lesson three, because lesson one is just an intro, you can listen to it or not. Lesson two, there's a, a real lesson there uh, and there's a quiz that I showed you earlier, uh, but you can't get to lesson three until you finish lesson two. So I set up prerequisites and that means you can just, you know, keep it going down the chain so people can't get to all of those lessons until they finish uh, the lessons above. Those quizzes are built right here in the back end, so you can set up those quizzes. Again, I'm making them super easy, one, two uh, question quizzes, but all those quizzes are controlled back here, so that is super easy, super efficient. You can set which ones work. You can set the pass, fail, threshold. You can do all of that stuff uh, right in the back end. You can set up assignments too. Uh, that's not something I got into with, with my um, structure of my course. Just quizzes makes it easy. Um, and then they, people can continue to move along. Uh, but one of the big things that I was a little hung up on, which didn't, uh, w which wasn't jumping out at me right away, is if I go to the WordPress admin for this particular piece of content, the one missing thing that I didn't know in Lifter LMS was this short code. This Lifter LMS underscore lesson mark underscore complete, that short code gives the person the button to say it'll either continue them on to the quiz that's in the way, or it'll continue them on to the next piece of content. And they just have to click that in order to continue on to the next lesson. It shows that the lesson is complete in the reporting, moves them to the next lesson, unlocks that next lesson. But when you're building out your lessons by default, it's just not anywhere to be found. I mean, if, if there's a default way to add this, and you know about it, let me know in the comments. But this is the one thing that really had me hung up in the beginning, like how do people get to the next thing? Um, it wasn't super apparent in a Gutenberg block either. So maybe if it was something I was missing and it was recently updated, so let's just see if it's here. And I, I think it, I just saw it <laughs> after it was it. Lesson, lesson progression, mark complete. So maybe that is another one right there. So perfect, uh, right in the mix is this uh, button now, look at that, we're learning on the fly. So Lifter LMS Complete uh, is the block you wanna drop in there. Uh, and that might be something uh, that just came out. Let's see what happens, you do this. Okay, so you get the next uh, first and last uh, lessons. That might be something that just came into this uh, or I just completely missed it when I originally built out uh, my site. But you can add that right there. You can add the Lifter LMS blocks or you can add that short code, which effectively do you know the same thing. Other than that, using Lifter LMS as a marketing tool, as something that you can use to grow an audience, add extra value, you know, paid or free, totally up to you. But I just find it to be a very powerful tool. I can't wait to build it out uh, and see more. Uh, there, there's some actual registered people here, so I'm not going to show you the reports because their personal information is in there. Um, but you can look at the reporting. You can see who has progressed and who hasn't. It's very powerful. So if you want more videos on this, let me know in the comments below. Lifter LMS, the Nev theme. I might do more on the Nev theme. It's very powerful. Another great option for those of you looking for uh, a free, powerful theme. Definitely check that out. Let me know what you're doing with Lifter LMS in the comments below. I'd love to learn a little bit more. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you. Oh, wait, no, we'll su subscribe first. <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you want more. Thumbs up if you like stuff like this. All right, we'll see you in the next video.